Right, so today we're playing Molex Intels, which is a game where you synthesize molecules, you know, nothing too complex. So, uh, right, so I got this on the Humble Bundle in April, I think, and I've been putting it off play now. I played a bit yesterday, trying to figure out how it works so that I wouldn't bore you trying to, you know, go through the controls and figuring out how instructions with that color. So, uh, Right, so mostly you just synthesize molecules, we'll be, you know, kind of half assing some chemistry here. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Uh, so, uh, you click here. To put, you know, essentially, you need to, you know, synthesize molecules, so we'll see how that works. And our goal is to cop, uh, manufacture copies of this drug, uh, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Uh, and then you have to choose in place precursors, which are molecules, these molecules. And then you have to program these particle beam emitters, which can do certain functions to rearrange your molecules essentially to create this molecule. And so if you remember a bit of chemistry, uh, I mean, I don't, but uh, yeah. So each oxygen atom has six electrons in its octal orbit and hence can form two bonds, ionic or covalent. So H hydrogen atom essentially come, joins uh, in an ionic bond <laughs> with the oxygen molecule and this dash you see here is a covalent one. So we'll not just go to chemistry. So essentially as it's like, uh, we'll be using kind of hydrogen to control how bonds are made. Now you don't need to know chemistry to do this, but like it's good if you know. So essentially we need two hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. So we have one oxygen and two uh, hydrogen atoms. So I'll just bring another oxygen atom over here. So now we have four hydrogen. We need to get rid of two of these hydrogen. So I will give a remove H atom command to one. One will then remove an H atom from its target, which in this case is the left oxygen molecule. And similarly, four will also remove the next, uh, four will also remove it uh, from the right oxygen molecule. So if I play this, so they'll in execute this instruction, then go down. And if there are no instructions, they'll execute the, uh, like they'll loop back to the top again. Uh, so, Right, so they both removed an hydrogen uh, atom, which led to, you know, uh, one oxygen, sorry, one electron being free in both of these, and then that electron joined to form a covalent bond, which you see here. So, uh, yeah, and then you just, uh, and then I played it again. So it essentially uh, tried to take out another hydrogen atom from both of these. Now they had two hydrogen atoms, uh, two electrons free, which then combine to form O2. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so yeah, we'll just stop and reset it. And now, after step one, our progress, uh, process is complete. So we just output the target, output whatever is pointing at one. And now we output, yeah. And then rinse and repeat. This is a faster and this is a faster. And yeah, so, uh, Median cycles, I'd say medium modules, medium symbols. So, this is again uh, the distribution of uh, players who achieve cycles, this is number of uh, instructions it took to output the entire thing. Modules, uh, I don't know what, I don't know what modules are, I guess uh, these instructions are modules, but that implies I used four modules here, which is not true. Uh, so, uh, three symbols. So, these are symbols, right? Uh, oh, okay. So, modules, I guess, would be particle beam emitter. So, it's, what if instead of four, I use two? I can move these particle beam emitters as I want to rotate them. And what if I use this? And now, here. 
I'm still using for modules. So I'm not sure what modules here are. But yeah, I guess that's the power. 2092 Clutch Napoca Romania. Totally nailed that name. <laughs> right. Uh, great. Uh, let's do that. No? Okay. Uh, work it is. So now we can try and do ethanol. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, so now we're gonna do ethanol. You might notice a change in the audio. That's because I'm still figuring this stuff out. But now I'm recording to two separate tracks, which should hopefully uh, help you hear the game audio as well as keep the noise from my side down. So yeah, let's move on to ethanol. Ethanol is essentially CH3, CH2. Oh, so ethanol, ton, eth means two carbon atoms in the chain and anol is essentially ethan is essentially two carbon atoms in the chain and uh, OH groups represent the alcohol groups so ethan, ethan so ethane is CH3 CH3 essentially two carbon atoms with hydrogen around them and when you try to add an alcohol to it it becomes ethanol which is your standard alcohol uh, so uh, Right, let's see what we have. So we have a thylene glycol, which is, as you can see, OH, CH2, CH2, OH. So uh, glycol is because there are two, uh, what's we call it, uh, uh, alcohol groups attached to it. So uh, what we need to do is probably get rid of this. And how would we do that? We would do that by adding another hydrogen atom to this. Then it will become H2O, which is actually water. So what I can do is, I can get one. I can get six, I don't know why I'm taking six, but it's closest, I'll take six. Uh, six will add in hydrogen atom to this guy. Uh, now this is a separate thing, but uh, this is not complete because like carbon has four bonds and two of them are, are with hydrogen, one of them is with this carbon, so it still needs another thing to bond with, which is hydrogen. So one will add a hydrogen atom to this, and then uh, six will remove the water molecule from trash, it essentially, and one will output. So, yep, and we play, and then we fast forward, that's great, two for the cycle again. Three modules used, four symbols used. Could have probably used the less symbols. Uh, not sure though how. Probably, yeah, the, like at a later stage, you unlock more precursors. So I'd assume you can probably improve on this. Uh, so let's move out. Formaldehyde. Uh, formaldehyde. H C O O H. C S two O. Uh, I'll probably, you know, put something uh, which explains what formaldehyde is. Uh, nitrous oxide. So nitrous oxide is, yeah. Uh, M with two bonds to another nitrogen and one bond to oxygen. So let's see what we can use to make this. So now we have a lot of compounds available. Uh, right, so I can either take this, but then I'll, you know, have to shift a lot of stuff around. What instead I'll do is take two ammonia atoms, which is NH3 and add a water atom, uh, water molecule here. So, uh, what we need to do is essentially strip them, strip the ammonia molecules of all their hydrogens and they'll bond with uh, each other. And then, we strip the oxygen of the molecule, uh, of all the hydrogen. So now you'll see, Nitrogen has maximum bond from three, and oxygen has a maximum bond from two. But apparently, this, this configuration works. I'll probably, you know, look into something, but I'm not sure how this is, works chemically. Uh, one will remove three atoms from here. Two will remove three atoms from. I just use hotkeys. Uh, from this guy and then 
four will remove right from here and let's see uh right so uh if i remember nitrogen has five atom the uh, five electrons in its outermost shell I remember the reading about some special properties, but I'm sure uh, we'll be fine. So, and now we can just you now put this thing and call it a day. Good. A lot of cycles, a lot of modules, few assemblies. So, test that. Uh, so, uh, I guess we'll move on. I could probably optimize this. I don't want to. But, uh, yeah, uh, amphetamines. Amphetamine. Uh, so, uh, amphetamine. So, uh, an amine group is essentially a carbon with nitrogen group. And then this is your benzene ring. So, combined they become amphetamine. I know this is a very bad explanation, but just, you know, deal with it. Uh, so, what else do we want? We want three carbon atoms and a nitrogen atom. Where do we get that? Uh, Single nitrogen we get from here, three carbon atoms we get from propene. Uh, then where is my ammonia? Uh, so, hmm. we need to remove the hydrogen atom of both these guys to get them to bond. Then I need to push a hydrogen atom here so that this bond breaks. Then this will have a spare electron. I can pull a hydrogen atom from here to give this a spare electron which will form a bond between these guys. So that works out great. Uh, 5 and 6, you can remove a hydrogen atom from here. 1, you can also remove a hydrogen atom. 2, you can add a hydrogen atom. And 3, can I guess output the entire thing in the next step. This is what we're looking for. It looks like it's great and it is then repeat great. So this works out quite well. Uh, could have done half the cycles. Uh, not sure how. But essentially, we'd have to compare it in the first step itself. Uh, median number of modules, median number of symbols. So that's great. Uh, let's move ahead. Exactly, ethanol is alcohol. What would you do with formaldehyde? Formaldehyde was used in hydrox earlier, I don't remember, like a while ago. GHB, no clue what that stands for, but this is why hydroxybutyric acid. So, butyric acid. So butene, butane is essentially a four carbon uh, chain, as you can see here, one, two, three, four. And acid, acetic acids, uh, carbonic acids, no, um, I don't remember the term. But essentially these acids are a, a COOH group, which you can see here, a double bonded oxygen with the carbon atom, this uh, OH group here. And then this has a hydroxy group, which is OH attached to the other end as well. So let's see how that works. Uh, one other thing I think uh, you guys should know is that uh, the angle at which these bonds are with relation to each other is important. Uh, in this game, which is something I figured out a while later, like after a lot of debugging. So just, you know, take care of that. Uh, so we need a four carbon uh, link, which I don't think you can find. Like I could break this hexane, but that's too much effort. Uh, so, and we want it kind of in this form only. Uh, so we have acetic acid, which kind of, you know, solves this guy. Now we need this something else. Uh, tempted to use this, but I'll probably you know, just go for another acetic acid. Why I'll explain this now. So, what we can, can we do? Uh, 
Right. Right, perfect. So uh, I can make this an H2 over open and make it go away. H2 molecule, sorry. And that would make life easier. So what we need to do is just remove one atom from one hydrogen atom from this guy, one hydrogen atom from this guy, two and six, no, five. And uh and I need to push two hydrogen atoms to this guy so that it does not uh so when I pull off this oxygen it has all its electrons in a pod uh right and uh, six will add two atoms to this and after which I think not put it. No we need to also destroy this guy but I'll show you why. Great. So now this guy is aggregate again. But this guy still remains. So we need to trash it otherwise it will cause a mess. So we'll trash it while we're creating this. And now all our molecules spawn again and we can begin the cycle anew. Yeah 360 cycles probably could have done it in Less than a month, so three and four went unused. I could probably shift uh, the second hydrogen atom. So, this I can move here. One is adding it to this guy. So, I can just, you know, add it from here. And then six is adding it on this guy. I can get four here to do that. And we can submit it here and then do this. Right. So, we've gone to 240 cycles, less than number of. No, we will increase our number of modules and same number of symbols. That's, there are trade offs, of course. So, yeah. And then by a high level, which is, I think, the final level of this thing. One more, okay, let's uh, do this. So, ether is essentially two different carbon chains joined by oxygen atom. Like, when I see these molecules, I remember if you ask me otherwise, I would not know about this stuff. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so, we have this guy. And I guess we can just use this thing again. Then we'd have to get rid of three water molecules, which seems kind of wasteful. Uh, Let's look at better solutions then. Uh, I want it to be a less useful as possible while not having to do too much work. So let's see how this will work. So uh, one will add an hydrogen atom. Three will add an hydrogen atom. Four will add an hydrogen atom. All right. Then 1, 3, and 4 will trash their respective molecules. Uh, H, not X. Yes. Alright, so we're left with this, but this guy bonded with the carbon which we don't want. So to fix that, what we do is we take away uh, this oxygen with hydrogen atom. So, yeah, so that is F and here. So now, hopefully, this guy bonds with this. We now need to push hydrogen atom here and a hydrogen atom here, and we're good to go. Great. So five and two can do that. Uh, 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 this guy can move here, and since we've deleted all our extra molecules, we should be good to go. And yeah, great. 240 cycles, eight modules, 10 symbols. So, I guess efficiency wise, we're good. Someone did it in one cycle. I have no clue how <laughs> the numbers are pretty low here. So, that's correct. Someone should do two, three modules. How is that even possible? Uh, but yeah, I'm not so good at this, but it works. I should. Uh, uh, that is true. I face so many illogical fallacies. Uh, Solitaire. So, this game is by Zachtronics, the guys who made Shenzhen IO, Exapunks, and uh, 
a mini game based on cards is kind of a staple. I'll maybe try playing it later. But uh, you know what? I'll just play it and we can call this a good. Uh, so all you, you need to do is kind of uh, create a stack in this order: T K D V ten nine eight seven eight. And then you move this stack to an empty place, and it collapses. And you need to collapse all four stacks. You can move like, uh, yeah. So uh, you can cheat by moving a single card to invalid positions, but they can only be moved back to valid positions, and you cannot stack anything, anything on top of them. So yeah. Uh, I always forget the order. T K D V. Uh, I'm assuming Sar. King D, I have no clue. V for Wazir. So uh, T K D B. T K. So I have no care. Um, D, uh, D, I have six. Uh, behind which is a nine. Behind which is a D. Do we have a V? No. Uh, so. To this uh, right, so if I do this, okay, right, so I would much rather not block this because I'm planning to move this guy around. It goes here. Seven six here D K D. All we need now is a V. So uh, let's see how that can be done. Uh, I have nine eight ready to move. Just only move to a free spot. Uh, if I move this guy here, then I can get 9 8 to come here. This T stack to go over there, but that does not get me any closer to the D. I guess I'll strive, I don't have any better options for now. So. I can do this. Once it's you can be more there. Alright, this is invalid, but I can move this here. This here. Now the six can be moved back to where it belonged. This way I can move here. You can move. Here, okay, I need to free a king. Um, right. the, the, um, six will it help me? Um, to trap. Like this guy can go here, this guy can go here, this guy can go here. Then K can go here. Then again, I don't have a V. Uh, if I put this guy here, I can get these guys here. This guy cannot move. Uh, so again, this is much more complicated than it seems. <laughs> uh, uh, I can move this guy here. This guy there. Maybe. Again, that traps my V. Uh, can I move this guy here? 
And this guy on top of that guy. Yeah, I cannot smooth this back unless it's to a valid position. Uh, this guy will go there. Take it to me. This guy will go there. Then we'd still be stuck down. Right. Uh, let's just get on with it. <laughs> uh, no, I cannot do that. Uh, Cannot move this. I can move this there, but there is no point. Uh, and move this guy here. But yeah, essentially I'm trapped. Let's just try and again and see how that goes. Uh, <laughs> So close to winning, but all right. Ah, so yeah, <laughs> I played at least like, 10 minutes of solid air and still got nowhere, so that's great. Uh, but yeah, this was kind of fun. So let's just go out and work. I have to embarrass myself further by playing solid air, but I guess, yeah. So uh, that's it, I guess. So uh, this is all for today. Um, we'll hopefully be playing more. I'll take some time to edit these. I'm still learning the ropes of editing. I'll try to add, you know, some kind of Wikipedia excerpts where I can. And maybe link to everything in the description. I'm pretty sure if you just type their name into Google, you can find good resources about this if you're interested in how they're actually made. And, uh, hopefully in the next episode, we'll have a lot more fun with new compounds, chloroform, DMS, or I don't know what that is. The cyclomene aspirin is, I think, a regular thing. Propofol, I remember hearing about this, but this looks like a benzene ring. This also looks like a benzene ring. So yeah, uh, all right then, uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and all that, you know, standard stuff. Leave a like if you liked it. If you didn't like it, don't, maybe leave a dislike. Try to comment and tell me what I did wrong. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of things I did wrong, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed that, watching me, you know, guess and try to get around for solving these puzzles and uh, yeah, alright, thank you, bye bye, stay safe.